Carl got it for us first, and he brings us what he found. Check this out, a laundry folding robot. But don't get too excited. It costs $1.5 million to create and takes 25 minutes to fold a single towel. Now this, this is much more promising. Researchers figured out how to put shrimp on a treadmill and to get more than $500,000 in the process. Look at them go. And you may think Farmville on Facebook is a colossal waste of time. But what if you got a $300,000 grant to study how it helps to build personal relationships? These projects have one thing in common. You paid for them. They're taxpayer-funded grants given by the National Science Foundation, the subject of a scathing new report by Senator Tom Coburn. What it says to me is they have too much money if they're going to spend money on something like that. Then there's the agency's Arlington, Virginia headquarters, $19 million a year in rent. And they're looking to move into a new building for $26 million a year. NSF says the move is necessary because its current 20-year lease is almost over. Coburn's report also cites jello wrestling at an NSF project in Antarctica, although the NSF says those are contractors, not employees. Either way, Coburn says the spending is just out of control. We have 12 different agencies doing pure, pure research, and we're duplicating it, and we're not sharing the information across, and it's siloed. NSF strongly defends its projects, telling us they, quote, have advanced the frontiers of science and engineering, improved Americans' lives, and provided the foundations for countless new industries and jobs. That's true. One NSF project led to the creation of Google. Another led to the invention of barcodes. More recently, there's the robot hoedown and rodeo. You've got to hand it to the folks who got taxpayer money to do this. Now, the NSF says even the wackiest sounding uh, experiments can lead to scientific breakthroughs. Robin, George? And we'll see if it does. We will. All right, John. Coming up, key witnesses speak out in explosive trial of Casey Anthony, what they said about her disturbing behavior the days after her daughter disappeared.